three fitness watches. I'm going to do the two Android and Megan will do the Apple. Um, and we wanted to do this because it's timely. Um, and the watches are going down slightly in cost, especially with Christmas deals and whatnot. Um, the other thing is they're changing by leaps and bounds in terms of functionality. And so if we think about fitness, yes, it counts our steps, good. And how many calories, also good. Um, for me, what's good is um, I have a Fitbit Versa 2, not the Fitbit Versa 3. Um, it, it tells me my heart rate. I like that. I have, uh, I have uh, insomnia, so I'm very happy when it's tracking my sleep or lack of sleep. I can kind of modify things. The first two Android devices that I select, selected were kind of at the top of the of the chain in terms of reviews. The reviews like these two devices a lot, the Fitbit Versa 3, which is a little expensive, and the Galaxy Fit 2, which is very, very reasonable. Um, the Versa 3 can have a battery life of six days, which is so much better than, than the first fitness watch I had about six years ago where I was, I was plugging it in every other day to, uh, to power it up. Um, the other thing that these two watches do and many watches do now is they recognize, have the ability to recognize what you're doing. So if you're taking a walk, it will sense walking and give you when you look at your, your uh, uh, digital device later, it will tell you, okay, you walked this long and this was your heart rate, et cetera. Um, and it can do that for biking. It does that for yoga. It still doesn't do that for Zumba. And I feel very, very uh, upset about that. Um, <laughs> but uh, the other thing that I personally like, there are two, two things I personally like about it. Number one, I have an excuse to have a really large clock face. So as my vision changes, it, I want things uh, that I have to read larger and larger. And because it's a large face um, and because it has a touch screen, I can make changes very easily. And this, the new generation, of course, allows you to change your screen. So it can be just the time, it can be time and heart rate, it can be time and heart rate and something else. So you can, you can customize that. Um, the other really big deal for me is, um, let me find this function. My Fitbit 2 has a feature where, I, where it helps me find my phone. So I use that about once a week uh, <laughs> because I misplace my digital phone fairly frequently. Um, so you can see the two, the difference, some of the differences between the two. Um, all of them require you to uh, plug them into some kind of a USB or USB-like device to charge. Um, and they are working with another digital device. So I check um, about every three days, I check how I'm doing with my tablet or my phone. And it will give me all the, all the information that I'm interested in. Another thing that's pretty good for seniors is with these um, modern updated fitness watches, you can also communicate with a friend. So if you aren't walking with that friend every day because of COVID, you can kind of keep track of each other's um, 
um, progress and encourage one another. And that's, that's one of the features I think about in terms of, of our current pandemic and not being able to go to the gym as much or not being able to work out with our friends as much. Um, and let's see, uh, Megan, can we go down to the next slide? Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So as I said, a difference in styles, lots of difference in styles. Um, and you can wear whatever band you need to with this and change out the band. Um, the uh, rubber bands tend to be more comfortable, but I'm used to a leather band. So I know within two or three months, I'll be putting a, a leather band on this. Um, are there any questions about the functions or features? Could you explain that thing about being able to monitor your neighbor? <laughs> it, it's, it's a buddy system. It's a mutually agreed upon buddy system. So you can add, whether it's a family member, Jane, or uh, you probably don't have to monitor her very much, or maybe it's a, um, it's, your neighbor, and of course it's January one, and you're having a new New Year's resolution, and you and your wife are big walkers, of course. But maybe someone in your family or a neighbor says, "Wow, I really need to increase my walking because I don't want to go to the gym." And so you can add each other to watch how the other person is doing in terms of steps. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So yes, it's not it's not uh, Big Brother, <laughs> but but it's a it's a buddy system to kind of encourage one another. So yeah, wow, you walked a lot yesterday. What's going on? Congratulations. Or you know, uh, the other part would be I haven't seen you walking much for the last five days. Is there anything going on? So. It can be that kind of monitoring too, but really it's meant to encourage you to do a little bit more. How about, how about blood oxygen level? No, not reliably yet. I don't know, maybe the apple does. Um, but uh, what I've read, because I was interested in this, um, is that the fitness watches are not doing that reliably yet that it, you still should have that individual pulse oximeter. And we have two of those in our house. So that's a good question. All right, um, cool. Next, I'm gonna go into the Apple Watches for you. So I put two on here. Um, I put the Series 3 and the Series 6. The 6 is the newest. Um, and the series three is actually what I have. I got it uh, probably two years ago. So I still use that one. Um, mine has cellular on it, but when I was looking um, to put and include the Apple series six, I noticed that that one came with cellular and it looks like they've maybe discontinued the three with cellular um, to try and get you to buy that, that newer one. So I put cellular on mine. I don't necessarily like to be connected all the time, but I chose to do it um, because I am, I, because of my job, I'm kind of forced to be connected all the time. So um, on my phone, I have all of the different things like, you know, Facebook and, and Twitter and Instagram, but sometimes just for my mental capacity, I need to like step away from it. So um, I chose to get the cellular on my watch so that if um, I was receiving an email from a client and maybe there was something wrong on Facebook or anything like that, I would still be able to know or handle it, but I wouldn't kind of be like constantly scrolling on my phone and looking at social media. So um, that was kind of my reasoning behind getting mine with cellular. But in terms of the series three, it starts at 199 and you'll notice both of these say from, and it says from at least for the series three because of the size screen that you pick. So they have two different options. One is slightly smaller and then one is slightly larger. And then for the from for the six, um, again, it'll be based on screen size, but it'll also be based on if you do get cellular or not. 
So again, looking at the three, um, it includes Siri. So all I have to do is just raise it up and then it will turn on and I can ask it anything like I do my iPhone. Uh, you have an ability to contact 911 easily. Again, even if you don't have cellular, um, from my understanding, you can still do it um, with the, the Series 3. Um, you can sync your calendar and allow notifications, which is pretty nice. So uh, when I have a client call for myself or something like that, or a doctor's appointment, I'll get a reminder notification on my watch as well, even if my phone isn't with me. Um, it includes GPS and navigation, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, so when I go on runs, I can track like my route and different things along those lines. Um, when I'm driving, it will also tap me to let me know when I'm supposed to turn, um, just like a vibration real quick, as opposed to me having to constantly be looking at my phone as long as I know whether I need to go right or left. Um, it'll just give me a reminder to my wrist. I can do Apple Pay with it. So uh, I often will you know, leave my wallet at home if I'm going on a run or something like that. So uh, if I stop into maybe 7-Eleven to get a water or at the coffee shop, I can just put my watch up to it and pay with it, which is nice. It'll track my workout. Um, it will track my heart rate and I will receive notifications about irregular patterns or if my heart rate remains too high. I understand. Sorry, he's talking to me. It will um, let me know if my heart rate remains too high for a certain amount of time or drops too low for a certain amount of time and, and kind of alert me that that's a problem. It's also water resistant <clears throat> up to 50 meters. Um, and then the con there will obviously be that the cellular version was discontinued. And then the Series 6, again, um, it's going to have everything from the series three, uh, but will also include obviously cellular. You can um, receive AFib notifications and then it also has the blood oxygen um, tracking there as well. And I think the con is obviously it's a little bit, little bit pricey, um, but if those are features that you're looking for, I will say again, I've had mine for probably two years now and it's still you know lasting and, and trucking along. I did smash the screen, uh, but I have insurance, so I got it replaced which was nice, um, but again, it is it is a little pricier than, than other options. And then you can see a picture of what both of them look like, pretty similar. Um, these are both the same size. I don't know what size screen that is. I have the smaller screen for mine. Um, my mom has the bigger screen. I wouldn't say it's like too clunky or large. Um, and again, these are all customizable, so you can switch out the bands. Um, I've had I have a, um, a white one on now, but you can switch it out and you can make it leather or like a bracelet type pattern or, or different things along those lines as well. Yeah, those, uh, the uh, bands are expensive. They are. I get mine on Amazon. I get like a few packs for kind of cheap, but they are, yeah. I mean, everything oh. about Apple is, is pricey, I feel. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I, want a new, I want a new band. <laughs> yeah, you can get them on Amazon. The ones for the Android uh, are pretty inexpensive, but then if you want to swap it and have a sturdier, better quality uh, leather that's at least available, it'll be a little bit more expensive. Megan, yeah, um, I now with my ver I have a Versa too, and um, I do have I do get notifications that I've I've gotten a text not email. So the, the, the Apple three, the older series, yep. you don't get even notification of text. Cellular means nothing when it yeah. comes to your phone. Right. So, well, so, so, okay. So I have the cellular one, like the three, like I said, and um, I have, it's on my AT&T plan. <laughs> So I have it so that I have like my cell phone number and then they gave me a number for my watch. But if somebody calls me on my phone, like my cell phone, it will ring to my watch. I'll get text messages on it. I'll get emails and all of that stuff. Um, so that is something that comes with the cellular itself. And it's like a plan I pay for each month in addition to my phone. Um, I can't remember how much it is each month, okay. but, um, I don't, I don't believe that if you don't have cellular, even if like you're near Wi-Fi or something, you know what I mean? I don't know that that would mean that you would still get those notifications without cellular to it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, um, I've turned off my notifications so I don't get email anymore. But 
I like getting um, the notification that my cell phone is ringing that sometimes I have the volume turned off or sometimes it's upstairs. So at least I see what the call is. Yeah. And if it's important, if I recognize the number and it's important, you know, I'll get back and return the call sooner rather than later. Yeah, I, I will say that's, um, I meant to say it too, Michelle. I can also ping like my iPhone. I don't know if you can hear it, but like, yes, I'm looking for it because mine's always on silent. Um, I can just ping it and find it, which I love because I often misplace my phone as well. <laughs> and another thing I should have put on there, but after hearing Michelle talk about it was, yeah, you can become friends with people too on the watch. Um, and again, very similar features. Um, I often compete with like one of my best friends or my mom. Um, so our competitions will be um, who moves the most, who does the most workouts, different things like that. And then you also have monthly challenges on the Apple watch. Um, so they'll kind of like, look at what you're doing or what you don't do often, right? So you log a, a walk or you you log a run or yoga, and then maybe you're not meeting your stand goal. So you're not standing for one minute every hour for 12 hours. That's like how the stand goal works. And um, they'll give you monthly like challenges from the Apple Watch itself to try and like promote you to do the other things that you may not often do, uh, which is kind of nice. So it's like goals to work towards and like fun, friendly competition with my family members and my, my friends. And then the last slide, Michelle, if you want to take it away on this one. It depends. Uh, getting a fitness watch is primarily for fitness. And the other functionality is really great. But for me, the most important thing is as I age, I am more sedentary. So it reminds me to get up off my butt. Oh, you haven't moved. You haven't gotten out of your chair in 50 minutes, time to move. And really a good metric for me is when I've done nine hours where I've met that goal of at least 250 steps an hour. So I've been out of my chair during that time. Um, so I, I, I do really like that. Um, I, I like the heart rate monitor as well. Um, there is a weather screen. Um, I don't see Fran right now, but there is a there there is a screen on mine which is for relaxation. Honest to God, I have used it, especially at the hospital. My my husband was hospitalized three times this year, so between hospital visits and and doctor visits, that's one of the times where I feel like. I'm holding my breath and I'm clenching my teeth. And so I, I go to my little relax uh, button and it helps me do deep breathing for a couple of minutes. And like, okay, that changes me. I'm willing to use a watch for that. And I'm willing to admit it because it's a problem. Uh, grinding your teeth is not very good for your teeth overall. Um, I don't like receiving a lot of email and text notifications. I get enough of those anyway, but I'm really happy when I receive the notification of, of a phone call. Uh, it, there, are, uh, there are alarms you can set on this um, and reminders. So if you need to make a call or if you need to take medications, it's another way for you to set a reminder, okay, you need to do this thing now. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, I'm just starting to do that. Um, and I had shared my fitness goals with my daughter for a while and she wasn't using it. So I stopped using it, but I think it's a good thing. If, uh, if I were sitting with the pod people right now, um, Michelle Milliken's class, I would say that's another way to keep in touch because we know how much you're moving. So um, does anyone else have any particular questions or, or goals for a, a digital uh, wearable digital device? 